Welcome to Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Phil Pussy, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to play um, Phantom Doctrine. I got this because it was on sale. I know, I know, I weak. Oh. Creative Forge Games, Forever Entertainment SA. Wait, is this one that got on sale? Let me check, actually. Phantom Doctrine. Dun dun dun. Nope. This is one that I picked up myself. Okay, let's see. Options, whatever, interface. I don't know what this game is. It just sounds cool. And it looks kind of like a... Uh, this makes me think of a game that you would see on like the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 in terms of like the um, pre-rendered backdrop that's here. Huh. Oh, you have to... Uh, play a standard storyline. Extended version, easy, difficulty, medium, hard. Ugh. I think it's recommending that I try that, so I'm like, okay, cool. Iron Man mode. Hmm. Nah. Oh. You know, I'm gonna play the tutorial anyway, so let's hit next. Background. Do you want to be CIA or KGB or whatever that third one is? Well, I think I'll stay CG, C, KGB. Let's, uh, you know what? Uh, whatever. I don't really care. Let's uh, cancel out of that. Um, let's do a right dice roll for that. Let's do, huh? Why is it all like Peter and Nelson? That's weird. These are interesting names. Interesting people. There's a lot to choose from here. Why does it always want me to be Peter Nelson? That seems kind of like that's broken. Hmm. Let us be a KGB. Oh no, CIA. You know, it'd be good if you could pick this. You could pick that sex option and then pick from any of these passport photos. Like, yeah. I don't think it really matters though. Let's go with, um. Yeah, none of these people look like CIA agents. But how do you know what CIA agents look like? Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Who to pick? Who to pick? Hmm. Let's go with the... Uh... I'll go with this character. There we go. Created. Oh, but you get to change your right around. Okay. Okay. Cool. Face presets. Oh gosh. Some of these are horrifying. Hmm. This person looks like they've seen some stuff. Change the eye color. Let's see. Let's change it to purple. No, let's do green. Look at that. That is a spooky green. Purple. Yeah, let's change the skin color to something different. Can I change the... Uh... Oh, I guess I can change the hair, can't I? Yes. Okay. Slim. Stocky. Average. There's only three. Boop. 
be a truck. Ech. Slim and average are like almost the same thing. Eh. Eh. No. Okay, let's go to next. Hair parted. Blow out. <laughs> that is some hair. Bald. Pixie. These are like very 80s hairstyles. Volume. Pump up the volume. One time. Fringe. Afro bob. Straight. Parted. Blowout. Feathered hair. I just like how ridiculous that hair is. Uh, let's go with... Volume. Okay, let's do the first color for this. We're going to do... Purple! Color A. But that doesn't look like purple at all. Aww. I can't even see that choice in there. Kind of feel like there's an issue with this. Ah. That's actually kind of nice in a, uh. Um. Let's do something that doesn't suck. That's okay. These pants should be different. Cargo pants? Oh my god, CIA agent cargo pants. It's gross. Nope. Duty. <laughs> Leather pants, leggings, tracksuit pants, crest pants. Eh. I like how this person looks incredibly depressed to be there. Leather pants. Gloves? Yes, all the gloves. Tactical heavy duty. Fingerless. Tactical fingerless. I like the tactical fingerless. Office ballerinas, heavy boots, flats, tactical boots. Loafers, derbies, moccasins, mm. biker boots, runners, trainers, Chelsea's, Oxford. You know what? We're going to go with um, biker boots. Yeah, I like that. That's kind of cool. Let's see. Head. Military beret, hood, bandana, wide brim hat, boonie hat, orange scarf, military cap, that's not too bad, beanie, beret, fedora. Mm. That's correct. That's so dumb. I like it. Uh, let's see, though. Let's make color A something else. Let's do dark. Yeah. Color B will be black. Yes. I wear none. Rim glasses. Yeah, see? An eye patch. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so some of this is just ridiculous, and I like it. Aviators aren't too bad. But this eye patch. <laughs> I'll make this character look less conspicuous. Nah. Neck warmer, <laughs> face mask, yes. Round, terrible earrings, edgy earrings, artsy earrings, tribal earrings. Shaman. I kind of like the earpiece. Okay. Okay. 
Eh. Yeah, I don't like any of these. Well, maybe the one that seems good is this earpiece. Contrast, glamour. Choose your makeup. Pink, subtle pink. Hmm. Wait, is that a tattoo of some sort? Oh, it is. Nice. Where's that five star tattoo? A rose. Cartoon snake and panther. A little bit of glamour. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, let's start the game. We messed around with that for way too long, and that would be... Eh, I don't know what we're doing with this. The events you're about to see may have been buried or covered up. Those are traceable records who have marked a specific date. They occurred on verified journalists, but trust no one. <coughs> the CS Marquis. That ship came out of nowhere. Or rather, that submarine. Uh. This is Golf Yankee Juliet uniform. Reporting contraband seized. Understood. Break off patrol. Head back to base. For those wondering, it's Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, India, I say Juliet, Kilo, Lima, Mike, November, Oscar, Papa, Vladivostok, Quebec, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, no. Uniform, Victor, but use the network. Whiskey. We don't want anyone listening in. Oh, X-ray, Yankee, Zulu. First the British, and now the Americans. Was there anyone else you wanted to involve in our plans? I am handling it, Valhalla. Oh yeah, I wasn't paying any attention to this. Your incompetence at all. has exposed us. Now Iceberg is in jeopardy. Doing all of this in the open was your idea. True. It was a simple plan that any fool could have executed. And you failed. Gentlemen, this problem is easily solved. Traitors! Now, now, don't shout. It's bad for your heart. I know, I know, political intrigue, whatever. High value cargo, cargo hijacked by British agent Kingfish to redeploy to pull up something, something. Primary objectives: repeat the slipper agent and activate his control phase. Phase. Steal shipping manifests. Evacuate on the other side of the border. Hmm. They may be superbly talented, but they may also be brainwashed. So, what is this? Is this kind of like uh, trying to be like a siphon filter or, or one of those type of things? Splinter cell? I don't know. Let's hit. Oh, that's loud. I hope you have a good reason for pulling me off that RAF gig. Absolutely. This operation is crucial to Project Iceberg. Why are you even talking to me? You're taking an awful risk. Nonsense. They may be expecting defectors, mm. but not the kind of hardware you're carrying. Ihre Papiere, bitte. The locator chip mm. indicates the sleeper is in position. Are you familiar with him? 
Who could forget that handsome face? No. Oh. Okay. Haben Sie etwas zu verzollen? Tragedy, okay. Gehen Sie weiter. Hm. Okay. That person will turn there. Who is this agent deadpan your file spoke about? The latest CIA washout could be dangerous. I sincerely doubt that. Hmm. Oh, I cannot move. Oh well. have to do this. I have no action points left. Hmm. Oh, I guess I had the action points. Okay. Deal with the security quietly. We don't want unnecessary trouble. Thank you. I can handle myself. Wait, where's my other buddy? Yeah, where's my other buddy? Hmm. I don't see them at all. Where is it they go? Waiting on you. Found our puppet. Give him the control phrase. Hmm. From the abilities menu. Okay, let's go up the stairs.
Oh, there we go. So, we're about 20-something minutes into this game, and it's interesting, to say the least. What are we supposed to do? So, if you're a fan of um, this kind of game, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of this so far? I think it seems interesting, and if you're a fan of this type of game, well then... This is a game that you're going to like. You've located the documents, but we'll have to breach the room. Don't worry, I'll clean the mess after you. Okay. Just give the order. We've got the customs papers. Good. Head to the evac zone. The driver will take you directly to Glasgow. I'm on my Come. way. Over and out. Overwatch to guard the room, okay. Hmm. Okay. Need me? Okay, how am I? Which one am I supposed to be selecting? This one? Yeah, because I think that's where I'm supposed to go, right? Hmm. 
one. Oh. Waiting on you. Okay. This is our tutorial pretty much. Mission objective complete. So, my take on Phantom Doctrine? Interesting. We completed that tutorial and it looks like it's a uh, fairly long game, probably? Yeah. So, if this is... Whoops, I just dropped my uh, controller. If this looks like a game that you want to try on the Switch, um, I recommend checking it out. I don't think there's a demo for it. But, hey, if you're a fan of stuff like Splinter Cell or um, SOCOM or other type of things, those types of things, if you like military, tactical, action, espionage games, this might be worth checking out. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Hit that thumbs up, that share button, that subscribe button. Ring that little bell so you're notified whenever we have a brand new video here on Area DMG. And until the next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.